primer lids before the eyeshadow application. I'm taking Max Painsley Paint Pot, of course, on a flat synthetic brush and just wiping this all over my lid up to the brow bone. Then you want to take a piece of scotch tape and apply it on the outer corner of your eye to create a really sharp cat eye and it's much easier to make everything look a lot more professional. Then you want to go ahead and apply a gold cream base to the centre of the lid and a black cream base to the inner and the outer part of the lid. This is going to add some depth later on when we apply the eyeshadows. Then you want to go ahead and apply a transition shade. I'm taking Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie into the crease. Then I'm taking a bright blue eyeshadow and a very, very fluffy brush and just dipping it into the tip of the brush and running this through the crease of my eye. Just applying this in windshield wiper motions, I'm applying a little at a time because I want to build it up as I go along. Then I'm taking a darker blue shade, this is Contrast by MAC and running this on a smaller fluffy brush through the crease. This is going to deepen up the look and really add some depth to the eyes. After that you want to take your goldest, pigmentedest eyeshadow that you own. This is half baked from Urban Decay and apply this using a flat shader brush and pack this onto the eyelid. Then you want to go ahead and apply a gold glitter on top of that using a flat shader brush. Because the look is kind of like a silvery gold look, I took MAC Reflex Pearl all over the lid and then also reapplied the gold eyeshadow we used earlier on. I cleaned up the edges of my eye where I tried to blend it out with a baby wipe and then went in with a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of eyeliner as close to my lash line as I can possibly get it on a very, very thin angled brush. This is going to add the extra definition without covering up all the beautiful work that we've just created. Then you want to go ahead, curl your lashes and apply your favourite go-to lengthening and mascara and apply some falsies. I went for Ardell Demi Wispies because they just look amazing with every single look possible. Apply this with some tweezers, tucking in the corners and then I'm going ahead and working on my lower lash line. I'm taking a bit of the MAC Contrast and the blue and applying this under my lower lash line. Then I'm taking Maybelline's Gel Eyeliner and lining the inner rims of my eyes whilst applying some mascara to my lower lashes as well. After that you want to go ahead and apply your face makeup and do your brows. Unfortunately I lost the face footage but for my face I will have all the products listed on my blog and I went ahead and did my brows. I didn't do anything different with them, just the normal method that I always go for. Okay, so for this look I do have two lip options because the first lip option did not suit me at all but this is kind of what JLo wears. She wears a very, very, very nude, almost skin-like lipstick. This is Rimmel London Nude Delight. It just doesn't look right on me. I feel like it washes me out. So I decided to opt for a slightly darker nude lipstick. The other nude lipstick I'll be using is Max Velvet Teddy. I just absolutely love this lipstick and I feel like it complements the look really, really well. You obviously could play up your lips on however you wanted to, but this is just the lipstick that I went for because the one that I found closest to her picture didn't suit me. So then I'm taking Benefits Hula Bronzer and just giving my face a little bronzer because JLo is always has a nice bronzed glow to her skin. I'm not applying any blusher for this look, just lots and lots of bronzer and lots and lots of highlighter. Whatever's left on the brush, I always like to wipe down my nose and yep, I'm using Max Soft and Gentle guys. And all over my cheekbones, start in the centre of my nose, top of my cupid's bow, tiny bit on my forehead, on my chin. JLo look is very bronze glowy, that is her thing, and that is the finished look guys. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed. I shall see you in my next tutorial guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. That was my mahoosive Debenhams Beauty Makeup Skincare Body Care Popcorn Haul. Well, proper corn.